as, uh, as, as we move forward in the show, uh, but uh, there are things happening here we want to uh, talk about. One is Iovance reporting uh, progress with its custom cell therapy uh, for solid tumors in this case. And Meg Terrell joins us from Chicago with a special guest. Uh, good morning, Meg. Good morning, Joe, and that special guest is IAVAN CEO, Dr. Maria Fardis. Dr. Fardis, thanks for being here. Thank you for having us. Thank so you. folks are describing your data here at the conference as one of the highlights of the meeting, uh, and it's a way of making personalized cancer therapies available to folks with really hard-to-treat cancers like advanced melanoma and cervical cancer. Maybe explain just briefly how the technology works. Definitely. Um, so IAVAN's technology involves cell therapy for solid tumor patients. It involves taking the cells from our own patient's immune system. We amplify them outside of the body over a course of a 22-day generation two manufacturing, and we put the cells back into the patient. It's a one-time treatment. Before we do that, we uh, remove the hostile microenvironment of the tumor, and then we follow by administration of IL-2 to assure the cells survive. It's about a two-week period time frame, and again, it's a one-time treatment. And the patients, let's talk about advanced melanoma. So we hear a lot about Merck's Keytruda and these amazing immunotherapy drugs, but you're actually treating patients for whom those drugs have stopped working. And we think of those drugs as almost miracle drugs, but it's actually a large number who then have their cancer progress beyond Keytruda and other PD-1s. Can you explain Definitely. what that patient population is? Yeah, thank you. Um, the patient population that we are seeing have failed all available prior therapies. Or the therapies have failed them. That, exactly. Sorry, that's a better way of saying it, actually. Um, so they don't have really any alternative therapies, and we are very pleased to be able to see that TIL technology, which is our tumor infiltrating lymphocyte, is able to offer them a 38% response rate in this extremely late-line patient population, which doesn't have any alternatives. Um, the patients really have run through Keytruda, as you noted. Sometimes all the checkpoints have been ex explored on them. Uh, they have seen anti-CTLA-4, which is another class of drugs. If they have a BRAF mutation, they have seen BRAF and or MEK. So these are all available care for metastatic melanoma, and they have tried all of those already. Wow, so obviously a huge need for this kind of Indeed. therapy. Indeed. Um, your pedigree in, in biotech is you've been at Pharmacyclics, you've been at Acerta. These are big acquisitions in biotech history. Uh, as you look at iAvance, a small company with large opportunity in front of you, do you see yourself being an independent biotech for much longer? Um, we are ready, uh, both because of our resources financially, from an FTE perspective, employee um, availability of employment for us. Uh, we are ready to take this product to commercial. We are planning on submission for our first market application, which is called the BLA in 2020 for metastatic melanoma, and we are building our commercial team and organization. I do acknowledge that partnership with the big pharma, and this is what I've done in the past life, is amazing. It uh, creates opportunities that a small company may not have, but we stand by ready and we are ready financially as well as in terms of our commercial and medical affairs organizations to provide this product both in U.S. and E.U.